Hello, my dearest Samantha. Hello. Hello, dear Samantha. Okay, okay. Now, there's a knock on the door. And I walk to the door. I walk up to the door. And I say, and I say, who is there? Oh, Samantha. Hello, dearest. I've been expecting you for a long time. Please give me a hug. Please, do sit down. Please. Sit. Ah, make yourself comfortable. What can I offer you? Drink? No, 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 I insist. You must take something. Okay, the drink and wait, okay, no problem. Uh, the reason I invited you is to let you know that that I I have loved you. Right from our days together in the university, I have loved you. And, and God, God has made things work well for us by bringing us together to have our youth service to the same company in the same town. Can't you see? God knows that I love you. Fool, what are you saying? you for the past six years. It's just that I've not been confident and I've been too shy to tell you that I love you. I love you. I love you and I want you to be my girl. Let you know. You're a fool. A big, 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 big fool. You're too forceful. Come on. Ah, you have to be romantic. It has to sound sensual, sexual. It has to come from the heart. Sure. Please, thank you. 
please, sit down. What's up? I got your message this morning and you said you wanted to see me, that it was very important. Yeah, yes. Uh, um, can I get a drink first? You uh, like drink something first? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Uh, what would you like? Mm, any soft drink will do. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll be back. Huh? Accident. Do you know what? Uh, get me a broom or mop. I'll help you tidy up. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll clean everything up when, as soon as you've gone. Uh, let, let me go buy you another drink. No, don't bother. I'm fine. Look, I only agreed to have a drink because you offered to get me one. Michael, I'm okay. You know what? Come. You said you wanted to see me. Yes. Yes, I said. It's um um is is not something really serious, you know. Um, it's just that you and I uh we don't really see inside the office. Yes, inside, inside. And uh, um, you know now, um, since we're from the same university, yes, and the same university in the same, no, we work in the same advertising firm and in the same city. Uh, I, I think I think you you and I can should be I think you and I should be like brother and sister my dear it's the nature of our work here, huh? But at least we still get to see how the office and we still get to hang out. The three of us from the same school, you, Briggs and I. That's... Anyway, that, uh, that, that's, that's right. Yeah, true, yeah, it's true, it's true. Yeah. Uh, Michael, you see, I won't stay long. I came because of the urgency of your text. You said you wanted to see me because of something very important. I'm um, seeing Briggs this afternoon. 
He begged Mrs. last week to cook for him. You know how he is. He can't do anything for himself. He can't even boil water. <laughs> Your friend is useless. Mm. Okay, okay. Um, no problem. Uh, please greet him for me. Yeah. Okay. Are you not going to see me off? See you later. Ah, tell Olga to expect us in the afternoon, about 12 noon. Okay. We need to conclude talk with a floor mill accounting between now and 12 noon tomorrow. Okay. okay? All right, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye. Right, bye. Take care. She's beautiful, isn't she? Who? Oh, Samantha. Yeah, how else? I wasn't really looking, you know, my thoughts were occupied with uh, the appointment. She's a beautiful girl. Who? Oh. I mean, Samantha. <laughs> you think I never really fancied her while we were in school? Ah, okay. You know, some things are like that, you know. One of these days, I'm going to tell her how beautiful she is. Hmm? I'm going to tell her and how attracted I am to her. You know what, um, I think we, we better start going for the appointment before we go late. Please start the car, okay? Okay. Yeah. 
up. Ah! You didn't take the turn to my house. I thought you were supposed to drop me off first before Michael sees my house the closest to the office. Yeah. Let's drop up Mike off first today. I'm taking you to somewhere. We have to talk. Talk? Huh? What kind of talk? Don't worry. Hey, it all. Okay? Your attention is needed urgently and immediately at the office. Hello? Hello? Please, I can't make out his voice. The phone is on private number. Who are you, sir? Mr. Bayo. But, sir, with all due respect, I cannot come back to the office. I know, but something urgent and uh, important came up, so you are needed. I'm somewhere far away, sir. Call Michael, my colleague, or someone else, okay? Yeah, call Michael, my colleague, or someone else. Or can't we wait till tomorrow? You have a car, and your friend does not have a car. It is easier and faster for you to get here. So I want you to come immediately. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I cannot. I've closed for work today. I'm not disposed. In fact, as I'm talking to you right now, I'm having stomach ache. Ha. Then I will give you a query. Oh. Yes, I will make sure I personally give you a query. So come immediately. Leave whatever you are doing and come here. We need you in the office immediately. What are you doing? Putting off my phone. There's no one going back to that office this evening. Let him give me a query. I'll answer it. Hello? 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 Who was that? Mr. Bayo, the MD. I wonder when he started talking like this. Talking like how? Bueno. His voice changed. He was talking like God. I must think he's my God because I'm doing my national youth service in his office. Please, shall we? You have gods. I like men like you. My dear. Later. Shit! Damn you, 
Briggs! Tamio Briggs! Tamio, Tamio, you a million times over for stealing my girl! from our school days. I just never said it. But I love her deeply. From my inside. Briggs, damn you. Damn you! so direct. So Samantha, I care a great deal about you. I'm not trying to be formal here. But I want us to be closer. I'm just friends. I'm not going to say I love you. Because you say everybody says that these days. It means nothing to you anymore. I didn't like your beats in school. But things are different these days. I'm not preaching to you. Sorry if I took you by, by surprise, but this is exactly how I feel. This is me. I don't know how else to put it. Do you expect me to reply? No, no. Don't say anything. To be so formal. Just allow it to flow. Naturally. Briggs. I like you. You're a nice guy. That's all I have to say for now. That's good enough for me for now. That is. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Ready, 
protein. Didn't he see us? I don't think so. But he usually waits till I come to pick me up. Um, you know what? Let's catch up with him first. Hmm? Let's go. Turn, turn there. Oh, Mike. What's wrong with you? I don't think there's anything wrong. What? Okay, tell the bike man to clear. Let me pick you up. There's no need for that, man. You know, I'm cool, okay? Don't worry. You guys just go along. No, but it doesn't matter. You can stop here and, you know. Guys, you guys just go along, okay? Go, go. Go to the office. I'm cool. I'm enjoying the fresh air. <laughs> go, 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 go. See you later in the office, okay? I'll see you guys there, okay? Yes, come on in. Good morning, sir. Uh, young man, you look cool this morning. Oh, thank you, sir. As usual. Uh, sit down. Is there any problem? You look worried. Um, Mr. Barrow, sir. Yes. I came to apologize for yesterday evening. I was very indisposed. I'm sorry I refused to return when you asked me to return to the office. I don't understand you, Mr. Briggs. Apologize for what? Return to which office? Sir, so you called me yesterday evening asking me to return to the office that something came up and that I was needed urgently. Me? I did nothing of sort. But the caller said he was Mr. Bayer from our office. Maybe it's another Bayer. Or maybe the line jumped. You know all this network. So you see, you have nothing to apologize for. Or maybe the line jumped and Nicola was calling another bridge on his phone. Maybe. Okay. Anyway, have a nice day. You can return to your office now. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, okay. uh, by the way, congratulations for a job well done. The flower mill company has given us the deal. Really? Yes. They asked us to shoot the advertisement for their, their new baking powder. That's nice, sir. Keep it up. Who knows? We may retain the three of you after your youth service. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it so much. You are welcome. Briggs, can you see how long this list is? Eh? There's a list of the shortlisted uh, girls now for the TV, commercial, calendar, billboard. Uh, well, anyway, thank God I, I have the pictures, so it makes the word work easier for me. I can mar match the faces with the names. And guess what? The creative director has asked me to make sure it gets ready before the end of work today in two hours. But I can't complain. I'm the one I said I wanted a job, Abby. So, do you need help? With this? No, I, I can cope. You see, I might do it in my office. I can do it. Okay? And you pick it up before the end of the work today. It's not a bother. Samantha, it's not. Okay? Listen here. I wasn't kidding when I propose to date you. I care loads about you. And this is part of it. Being there for you in times like this. Do it for you. Thank you. 
Grace, you have a good heart. Thank you. It must be very hectic to have kept you for two hours. What? Is it two hours already? Yep. Oh. I didn't notice the time pass. Um, the creative director has already called my office and I told him I'll be with him in five minutes with the file. Just one minute. I'm doing the last name. Okay. Yeah. Finally. This is the final. Okay. All marked on the back, right? Okay. The names of the girls are written twice on the back of the picture. Mm. May God bless you. You're such an angel, Briggs. I thought Richmond's children, who have their own cars as early as NYSC, um, are supposed to be arrogant and have their heads in the cloud. Well, I'm not arrogant. <laughs> okay. So, this is the file. Thank you. Samantha. Samantha. I'll do anything. You could change. You could help me. Samantha, I think I'm old enough to know what I want. I won't hurt you. Okay? I promise. I guess you're all done for today. I'm ready to go. Okay. I will join you in a second, okay? Does he know there's anything between you and I? No. For two days now, he's not even letting me pick him up from on my way to work. I'm even surprised he came to let, inform me that he's going. It must have been a great shock for him to find out just like that. Briggs, you have to find a way to tell him. He's your friend. He's our friend and he deserves to know. No. I will drive straight to his house after dropping you off. Because I know he 
myself taking a bite and going home. Okay? Yeah. I wonder why he's so angry. I wonder why. If you and I decide to date, is it a crime? The creative director is still waiting for me. I'll join you outside, all right? Um, tidy up his hair. The house. Open the door, it's me, it breaks. I got something to tell you. Samantha, are you home? Yeah, 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 sure, I'm fine, fine. Uh, I want to come and see you in the house. Oh, uh, okay, okay. All right, let me just change. Uh, I'll see you in a short while then. Okay, whenever I wanted to go and urinate uh, during classes, we would say, Sir, I won't go peace. Or make I go peace. You know that kind of a thing. <laughs> so the guy got very furious one day and said, Whenever I wanted to go and ease ourselves, we should say, Please, sir, allow me go and ease myself. <laughs> you know? And he, we went on like that till we got to primary five. And of course, we had a new teacher, Mr. Ajayi. You know? So, the first day of class, I wanted to go and ease myself as usual. So, I said to him, guess what I said to him? No, I can't. <laughs> I said, please, sir, I jai me to go and ease myself. <laughs> no, I, I don't get the joke. Okay. Why I jai me? See, when we were primary four, yeah? Hmm? We said... He said, allow me to go and use myself. That's what Mr. Mr. Lau taught us. Because, you know, with our little heads, ears, and brains, it sounded like, allow me. So we thought he told us to say that because of his name, Mr. Lau. Oh. You know, rhymes with, allow me. Oh, oh, <laughs> you know? oh, oh okay. So, when Mr. Jai came, mm -hmm. it was, a Jai me to go and use myself. <laughs> no, 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 no,
God, you know you were so funny. Oh, you really made my evening. You kept me company. Really? Yeah. You know, I haven't been homesick since this whole youth service year. I guess it's because I have good friends around me, like you and Briggs and, you know. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, all right. Ask me, ask me another one. Um, yeah. Ask me Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone? Nah, Bessie Pusha. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Uh, uh, ask this one. Um, birds of the same feather. Flock together. <laughs> And he said, Papa, born there. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh. Hello. Hi, honey. What's up? Oh, Briggs. How are you doing? What kept you? I stopped over at the supermarket to shop for you. Really? Oh, isn't that so sweet? How are you? Oh, what? I was at your place, and you were in. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, honey, did you miss me? Yeah, of course I did. But um, you were supposed to be here an hour ago. Thanks to Mike, he's been keeping me company. He's been telling me jokes upon jokes upon jokes. Really? Yes. Mike? <laughs> I mean, so you tell jokes? But you never told me any before. What's hitting you up? Search me. Do you do you think he could be jealous? Man, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Man. <laughs> This is nonsense, man. I'm, I think I'm going out there. I'll go out there and meet him. <laughs> Whatever. This nonsense has to stop. <laughs> this is funny. You know what? Let me go out there. Okay. Talk to him, okay? okay? I'll be back. Okay. Man, this has to stop. What's the matter with you? Huh? Tell me the truth. What are you doing, Samantha? What, 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 what's going on here? I was going to tell you. But you've just made yourself inaccessible all these days. Samantha and I are dating. I love her. Please, that's a joke. You love Samantha. What do you even know about love? Enough to know how deeply I love Samantha. Enough to know how I can lay down my life for her. Enough to know she's the one I want to marry. No one else in future but her. I just okay. hope and pray this is not what you tell her. Do you understand? Because you know I know you very well. And I know what you want from her. I don't want anything from her. Okay? I love her. We are in a relationship. Accept it. Get used to it. Now you listen to me. Ladies, leave her alone. I love Samantha. I've loved her since the first day I met her. Okay? Leave her for someone who's going to love her, marry her, and love her forever. Do you understand what I'm saying? That you cannot do. Michael, you're sick. You're sick, Michael. 
your best friend announces to you that he's in love. And all you do is to act this way. Claiming you've loved the same girl from your mother's womb. Ah. If you've loved her this long, why didn't you tell her? Instead of going to her house to tell Joe. Leave her alone, pricks! Leave her alone! The girl is mine. Playboy. I'm not playboy. Where's the proof, Michael? Michael, you're sick. You're sick, Michael. See a psychiatrist, okay? See a psychiatrist. Resignation letter. I I wish to resign with immediate effect, sir. Resignation? Why on earth would you want to resign? You stand the chance in making a career in this place. Too many court members like you will wish to be in your shoes here. Personal reasons, sir. Uh, I do not wish to continue to work here. I've already written a letter to the State National Youth Service Coordinator to repost me to any secondary school around to teach, sir. So. Mr. Michael, I do not know what your reasons are, but I will not sign this letter immediately. You are a young man. And young people sometimes take irascible decisions. I will give you two days to decide and see if you really wish to resign or not. And if you still feel like this in two days, I will then accept your resignation. Thank you, sir. But there shall be no mind changing on my part. I have completely made up my mind, sir. After today, I will not be working here again. It's okay. Please yourself. But I will not sign the letter till after two days. Thank you, sir. Thank you, too. Excuse me. You're welcome. Letter with 
with immediate effect this morning. What? Why? The only say he said is personal reasons. When I saw him along the passage just now, I said good morning to him. He completely ignored me and responded only to Olivia. Sweet Elizabeth, I think we need to talk to him. Not me. Not me at all. He can die of jealousy if he chooses to. But he's our friend. But what in the saints name did he go and resign for? He's no. playing with his future. That's his business. I tried to talk to him yesterday night. But that's almost led to a fight. Let me try. Let me talk to him myself. Can you drop me off at this place today after work? Please. Okay. If that is what you want. Alright, thank you. Okay. So, yes. let me check what I'm doing, all right? himself I, after he must have thought about it.
poor in. I'll see you at the office. <laughs> it's just the beginning, man. I'll freaking see you at the office. Do you have one for me? Yes. In the person of Michael. You're kidding. No, I'm not. No, you're kidding. No, I'm not. No, you're kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. I like him. I know you like him. Alright, leave the rest to me. I'll get back to you later. Michael has been going on and on about you. But he's such a shy guy and he can't come to you with his feelings. And he's such a handsome looking guy too. I mean, I hear he has resigned from the office. I know. I guess he couldn't cope with seeing you every day and not being able to, you know, let his feelings known to you. <laughs> huh? You think I'm joking? Okay, see the way he greeted you the other day and completely shunned me. It's because he had told me on a number of occasions to make his feelings known to you, but I didn't oblige him, Jerry. I forgot. Oh, he's not a bad looking guy at all. I mean, why can't he be confident in himself and come to me? You know, how about <laughs> Some guys are like that. Some guys don't know how to approach a woman. Huh? See, I want you to show him you care too. <laughs> What? Just how do I do that? How do I do that? It's easy now. I mean, you can start by calling him. Oh, wow. You can start by... You can beg him not to resign. Yes, because the MD has given him two days to make up his mind. You can beg him to come to work tomorrow. Yes, you can buy some foodstuffs <laughs> and cook for him this evening. Ah, wait, wait, wait. So you don't know that little things like this work like magic on men? You don't know, Samantha, you will spoil me. What? <laughs> no, okay, wait, tell me. Which woman doesn't want a man she can call her? You know I don't know how to do this thing. Well, you will learn. You will start from somewhere. <laughs> Michael is so, all he talks about is Olivia, Olivia. Huh. Okay, well, I'll give it a try. I'll, I'll go to his place this evening. <laughs> Why didn't you come to me, your son? 
come to you. Why did you send Samantha? I mean, you know I like you a lot, so if you had asked me out, I would have accepted. Samantha came to you? Uh, oh, on my behalf? There you go being shy again. Are you trying to deny you, you weren't the one who sent her? I see. So why didn't you come to me? I guess I was... I was shy. I didn't know whether you were going to accept me or not, so... But now that you're here, I'm glad. Unless I forget. This is important thing I, I really need to talk to you about. I've been so unhappy ever since I learned of it. What is it? That you resigned from the office. I mean, and, and you asked NYSC to repost you to a primary school. Please, I need you to come back to the office, okay? Because I'll be the loneliest person if you have a leave. Please. Please. Please come back. I don't want you to go anywhere, okay? Please. to the office. Right. He has asked the MD to withdraw, to ignore his letter of resignation, and he has accepted. Come on, darling, you deserve a big pack. <laughs> Thank you very much. You brought us together, you know. You know, even if for you, we would have just been nursing our love in our hearts without speaking out. And my poor Mickey, he would have just resigned from the company. Can you imagine? Oh. I'm so happy for you. Thank Look you. you. <laughs> I'll see you. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> for some good girl to come along so I can fall in love with her. But all the same, I'm happy for them and I'm happy that he only was alone now. <laughs> well, okay, all right, I'm coming over. extends the hand of friendship to me. Why not? I'll take it. Hey, what's up? All right. Hi, Briggs. How you doing? Okay. Ah, Samantha. What's up? I'm all right. I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm good. Well, it's a good thing the both of you are together. Because I have something to say. I am not resigning again. I'm back! <laughs> 
Wow. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> and Samantha, thank you for the girl you match made with me. Lovely girl. Very lovely girl. Oh. Surprise how I got to know? Well, well, ah. Uh, she mentioned it unknowingly that you asked her to call me. And I am very happy now. As a matter of fact, I am happy for the both of you. I am. <laughs> That's good. So, me. So, no hard feelings? <laughs> what is he talking about? No hard feelings, no. <laughs> Everything is perfect. A-OK. -okay. Hmm? So, I take it we are friends again? Huh? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I knew it, bro! <laughs> Come on, man. Everything's cool, really. I'm actually thinking I was going to go kind of like hang out together, you know, some time and stuff. But thanks, man. It's really cool. I hope you're very happy now. Happy on the statement? I'm cool. I hope you like, oh, I love her. Uh, that's it, look. Okay, I actually, I really, really like her. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> Come on, guys. I think it's a cool shot, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, I was trying to think, yeah, but maybe we could like hang out, the four of us, exclusive. What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, okay, we could do it today, you know, like after work. What do you say? What maybe, say? later in the day. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is getting really exciting. <laughs> um, I'm happy. For me and for you guys. <laughs> right. Okay. Just see you later, okay? Bye. <laughs> Speaking, who is this? I uh, no first you. My name is Dele. I'm here to do a Biki motto for years or time. Uh, he say about you don't die. Say make uh, he not go fit call you. Say make you make I help and call you. Say make I tell you. Say make you call me down for uh, what you know? Uh, princess hotel. Eh, uh eh. -huh. say make call me down for there. Eh? He said he get, he get a surprise to give you. Okay. What what's your name? What did you say your name was again? I think I don't first you by then uh Dele Na me they do we balance and I lament for her. Surprise you. Eh uh, Dele, okay. Uh, but why are you calling me with a private number? Ha! <laughs> I think I beg you. Uh, me self, I don't get credit, yo. Now for a business set I didn't my shop. Now they take call you so. Okay, no problem, eh? Thank you. Okay. Bye bye.
Hello? Hello? Briggs? Am I on the Briggs? Yeah, yeah. Who's on the line? Yeah, yeah, it don't, it don't matter who I am, but... Now, you know, I got some piece of information for you. Now, um, okay, I, I just have... My office is just around the corner where you guys work. Now, there, there's a girl who, who's been bothering me, okay? Uh, I don't know, your girlfriend or your fiancé, I, I don't know what she is. But now, that bitch has been disturbing me, you know what I mean? Now, I don't know what she, the girl wants from me, but today she asked me to get her, get my ass back to uh, a priest's hotel. Now, now I got to priest's hotel, and <laughs> you know what she said? She'll do anything for me if, if I can give her one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Well, like I said, never mind who I am. I'm just, I'm just a concerned man. All right, I just feel bad over what, what men are doing, what those damn girls are doing to us. You know what I mean? I don't care who you are, Mister. But you are lying. Oh, ha, you think I'm lying? All right, all right, all right, all right. Why don't you go over there, the Princess Hotel? Then you know whether you see her there or not. Will you be there? What? <laughs> no, 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 no. I told her I'll be going to the bank, okay? Now I'm going to wait to the bank, so you just get your ass there and see her. All right? Now, guy, I want to tell you something. This is a real world, okay? You got to be smart. You know what I mean? Them women, you can't trust them because they're dangerous. You know what I'm saying? So, guy, you just be a man. I want your back this time. You want my back next time, all right? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here, all right? Bye, bye, bye. Hello? Hello? Is this your line? Hello? Uh, hello? God. It's a lie. God, it has to be a lie. Samantha. Samantha. No, no, no. Samantha. Oh.
it's over. What? Samantha, it's over. What? Get out. Get out, you stink. Stop it. Stop insulting me, Briggs. What, what have I done to deserve this insult? What you've done? Are you asking me what you've done? Listen, I'm through with you. Why don't you go to your lover who will give you 150,000 naira? Why don't you leave me alone? I think I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Okay? What in God's name are you saying, Briggs? What in God's name are you saying? Your mechanic called me and asked me to meet you at the Princess Hotel. I was only delayed because of the heavy traffic on the road. When I got there, there was no trace of you. I was going out to go and get some recharge card for my phone so I could call you and then you drove in there and started yelling at me and, and insulting me and coming all sorts of things. I have said I'm sorry for coming late. Samantha, listen to yourself. Just listen to yourself. You don't even know how to lie. You don't even know how to lie! something here. Briggs. <laughs> so, get out.
please, can I talk to you? Matthew. Matthew. Oga. Oga. That office over there. Do you know any of the men that work in it? Yes, sir. I know one, Mr. Timothy. He used to work here, but now there. Does he know me? I mean, does he see me? Or does he pass here on his way to his office or from his office? Does he see Samantha and I together? Sir, you mean Mr. Timothy? Of course! Who else? Sir, I told you. I said he used to work here, but now there. He used to direct the shooting of the advertisement. But since he got a better job there, he left us. He doesn't come here anymore, but I used to see him driving to his office. I see. Okay, how does he speak? Does he speak well? Good pronunciation, I mean. <laughs> Oga, <laughs> nobody, nobody speak English past Mr. Timothy. <laughs> I see. You may go. Okay, sir. and I are having problems. <laughs> That's a joke. What, what happened? It's not a joke. I want you to talk to him for me. Uh, what, 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 what happened between the both of you? I've just discovered that Briggs doesn't trust me. He can't even vouch for me. Why say you love a girl when you can't even trust her? Oh, it's too early in, in the relationship to start having problems. I mean, look, look at Olivia and I. I mean, since we started dating, we've never quarreled once. It's been nice. Tell me, what, what, what happened? Michael, you're Briggs' only friend in the city. That's why I've come to you to talk to him for me. That's right. And I don't consider you a third party. Right again? So will you help me? Will you talk to him for me, please? I will. I'll talk to him. Sorry, pay no attention to me. I, I was just shocked when you said you, had, you guys were having problems. Because I know you love each other very much. And... Okay. Can, can you tell me everything? What happened? I don't even know what happened. Please, when you see him, ask him what I did wrong. Somebody called me claiming to be his mechanic and said that uh, Briggs had asked him to call me to meet him over at a hotel for a treat, which I did. Only for Briggs to drive in there and start accusing me of running after men. You? Me. I mean, Michael, can you imagine? That's strange. It's very, very strange. Okay? I'll talk with him. Alright? 
find the number with which the guy called me with. But each time I called, it's unavailable. I mean, I'm going crazy. I need to talk to the guy again and know if he was saying the truth or not. Yeah, but just wondering, why would the guy, you know, take the pains to make a call if he was just making a call to lie, you know? Besides, I think you should give Samantha benefit of the doubt. She even asked me to call you. Which doubt? Which benefit? I saw her in the hotel as the anonymous caller claimed. She still claimed that she was called by another anonymous caller who claimed to be Dele, my mechanic. Do you know this Dele? From where? Even the man who called me. I'm... I'm suspecting one Mr. Timothy who works in a PR agency. Near the office. I'm really suspecting him. Man, we gotta find out what's going on with you. And I'm pleased I'm done. Please, I'm done. On my girl, you will succeed. You better stay away. I don't okay. even know you. you stay away. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. I'll get you. you. I'll get you. I'll get you. Listen, watch yourself. You're crazy.
millions of people wake up crazy every morning. I swear. Okay, are you okay? What's the problem, Okay. Briggs, I know you don't trust me, but please, don't fight again. See how disappointed the MD was today when the man reported what she did to him. I don't know what is going on, but what I've told you is the truth. I know it is difficult, but please, believe me. If I bring the Bible, will you swear to me that everything I've been told by the caller are lies? If your trust for me depends on my swearing the Bible, then bring it. I will swear, but I will leave you. I will leave you, Briggs, because I cannot be with a man for whom I swore the Bible to win his trust. I like the way Briggs is treating Samantha, you know? Samantha is like a sister to me, you know? I just want them to break up. Uh-uh. Michael, why are you talking like this? But you know every relationship has its own problems. Yeah, but not the kind of problems and stress Briggs is putting Samantha through. Imagine accusing her of running after men and forging a story that, you know, someone called him to go and meet her in a hotel. I'm sure Briggs planned all that thing. Briggs. Is it, is it, is this such a bad guy? Briggs. Briggs. Ha! No one knows Briggs as much as I do. I've known him for years. That guy, as soon as he's tired of one babe, he'll just cook up one story or one plan and get rid of her. That's big for you now. That's terrible. And I always thought, I mean, he had real love for Samantha. Love. <laughs> Briggs, love. No, it's the other way around. It's Samantha who loves Briggs silly. But Briggs, that guy doesn't even know the meaning of love. For him, that word does not even exist. Poor Samantha. My dear, it's not about just sitting down and saying poor Samantha. We have to do something to save that girl from heartbreak. You and I. What can we do? Something like what? Can you lie? Michael, you know I love you so much. And if you think that's the only option, I mean, why not a little lie? Okay. I have this plan. Huh? Can you tell Samantha that Briggs has been making passes at you? Excuse me? Yeah. Why? We have to slowly destroy her too much love for him. So that if he dumps her like he's planning to do, she won't really feel heartbroken. In fact, we can make sure she dumps him first. Then we can look for someone who is nice and loving 
that will be well and best suited for her. You know? <laughs> Michael, this is a game. And I think I'm interested. Feel me in on the details. I knew you would. <laughs> She'll be very grateful, though, you know? Uh -huh. For real. She did everything for me, you know? She'll be happy. Anything for her. <laughs> That's what love is about, isn't it? You want some more? Oh, no, no, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Since you've insisted, it's only water you drink. So, you still haven't told me this all so important matter that brought you to my house this night. You've never been to my house before. You're right, Samantha. I haven't. There's this thing I've been wanting to tell you. You know, you're a colleague and a friend to me, so I can't hide this anymore from you. Okay, I'm all ears. What's the problem? Briggs has been disturbing me. He's been making passes at me. <laughs> That's a big joke. It started when you two were having problems, you know? He kept on asking me to come spend the night in his place with him. Briggs? My own Briggs? Please don't tell him. He will kill me if he finds out I told you. Okay. I just told you so you can know the kind of guy you're dealing with and not place your mind on him because he can't be trusted. Initially, I thought he was doing it to get back at you. But even now you guys have made up, he still disturbs me. Asking me to meet him any place of my choice. Men. Men. Men are dogs. God. The only difference between men and dogs is that men walk on two feet and dogs walk on four feet. I beg you in the name of God, Samantha, don't tell him. Or my life will be in danger. At least now when I've told you, my heart is cleared. Please. the night in my place yesterday. You didn't turn up. I called. You didn't pick up. Then this morning I drove to your place to pick you up. Only to find out that you had left for the office on your own. Is anything the matter? Honestly, nothing. Honestly, I'm fine. I just wanted to leave for work early so I could um, tidy up my office before work starts. You can see I'm tidying. And you didn't bother to call? I forgot. Okay. I'll be in my office. I'll see you later. All right then. See you later.
Hi, Olivia. Hello. You guys going already? Yeah. Where's Michael? He's gone. He had to rush up to somewhere. Oh. Then in that case, why don't you ride with us? I'll drop you off. That's very sweet of you. But I'll be just fine in a taxi. You know my house is fast. I wouldn't want to put you on Um, Sura, I can drop her after I'm also brought to her. Okay? So at least we'll save your taxi money for you. So come in, let me drop you off since your boyfriend has gone home. Okay? If you insist. I do insist, my dear. I just stood there pretending to be waiting for a taxi when they came out. And as you predicted, Briggs offered to give me a ride home. When I told him you had to rush after somewhere to see someone. And poor Samantha, she was almost weeping when, when Briggs dropped her at home to take me home. Poor Samantha. Well, it's better for her though, you know? The less reason she has to love Briggs, the less pain she will feel when Briggs dumps her. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. You're welcome. Tomorrow is Saturday, and I want you to go to Briggs' house. All right? Uh, I have a winning plan. But first, before I explain to you, I want to call Samantha, okay? Just to make sure she doesn't go to his house when you're there. Alright? Just give me a minute. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Um, can I come to your house first thing in the morning, tomorrow? Ah. There's something bothering me and uh, I really have to discuss with you. First thing in the morning, yeah. Okay. Alright. Bye. Briggs and Olivia are getting close. I have this terrible feeling they're seeing each other behind our backs. I think they're cheating on us. Honestly. I tell you the truth, it's hurting me. It hurts. That's what I've come here to tell you. I want to go and warn Briggs to stay clear of my girl. She's mine. I mean, you're beautiful too. You're his girl, not Olivia. Michael, I wasn't going to tell you this if this issue hadn't come up now, but as it is, I have to tell you. Olivia has the problem. She confided in me a couple of days ago that. Um, Briggs has been making passes at her, asking her to come to his house and all sorts of things. Briggs? Yeah. Briggs. God. Michael, you men are a terrible gender. God. Briggs. And, 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 and what have you done since you heard it? I'm still thinking of the best line of action to take. Damn. Damn. Look, I will go and confront Briggs. In fact, let's go and confront him together. This is Arab nonsense now. 
confront him? How? Where? The office is not conducive. Who is talking about the office? Today is Saturday. Let's go to his house now. Let's go and ask him. You think that's wise? Have you considered the fact that Olivia might be lying? Maybe she cooked up this whole story just to just to smear Briggs' image. We need to go to Briggs immediately. We need to ask him questions. We need to make this an open issue so that everybody will know the truth. See, we need to go now. Or I'll just assume you, you're supporting him to chase my girl. Okay, fine. Let me get dressed and we'll get going. Serious. At her, so. Did you hear her? Not here. Briggs, please. She likes Briggs too. God, they need together. I'm sure she told you that to divert your attention in case you for confront her. Dude, is there no truth in this world again? Is there no truth in this world? <laughs> Please, he doesn't deserve your tears. He doesn't. I'm here, okay? I'm here. I will protect you. Come on, don't cry.
Samantha. Please. Let me talk to you. Get out. Samantha, please. Lovers are like thankful bosses. They come and they go. Sorry. after the whole episode, but you didn't show up. What is it? I mean, I called you several times and you never took my calls. Are you angry with me? Because I did everything you asked me to do and I, I said all the right things you said I should say. Olivia. Yes, darling. Read my lips. We are through. Okay? I never cared <laughs> about you. I still don't. So if I were you, I'd just turn around and go out that door and never come back. The picnic is over. You kidding me, right? <laughs> of course not. When I found out Samantha was matchmaking us, I thought fast. I said I was going to need you to actualize my plans. So now that the work is done, it's over. So you used me, my girl, you used me? Yes! To win Samantha's heart, of course. Um, okay, okay, um, Olivia, I gotta go to Samantha's house, so please can you leave? Hey, you don't! You don't! Hey, 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 come on, come on, hey, take it easy! Come on! There's no use crying over something you never had, all right? So please, can you can you just go, please? Please go, go. My girl, my girl, you never see God in your life. Okay. God will punish you. You're a devil. Please, just just, just, just go. Alright, go. My girl, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Please, please, just go. Please. My girl, my girl, God will punish you. You, if you ever fall in love again, somebody will break your heart just like you broke a mine. Okay. You devil. Okay, sorry. What? Sorry. sorry. Idiot. To listen to me today, okay? Samantha! Samantha, come out and open this door. How can you judge and crucify a man without listening to him? Huh? Samantha, see, I'm not going anywhere till you come and open this door. I'm staying here today.
so you cannot come and go from Samantha's house as you like. Huh? Please, you are disturbing this girl. Huh? She doesn't want you anymore. Stay out of this. Do you hear me? Samantha has not appointed you to speak for her. Oh, yes, she has. Okay? She has! Leave this place now, okay? Michael, I swear I will enjoy you if you try any rubbish with me today. <laughs> Do you understand? Oh, God. This boy, they try me, oh. See, I go want you for a year if you don't take your time. You think this is the nonsense you've been doing? I will eat that. I will, I will, I will. <laughs> anything to do with this company work? Briggs, it's about you and I. I want to talk to you. Please hear me out. Out? Briggs, I'm very sorry for everything I've done. Okay, I'm very, very sorry. Please forgive me. Get out of my office. Please don't shout. Don't shout. People will hear and it's really embarrassing. Okay? Get out, you devil!
Sends any more of these texts, please just let me know. Alright? Thank you, Michael. Thanks for what? For being there for me. Thank you. It's fine.
Michael, Griggs is getting out of hand. He's still sending me more and more text messages threatening my life. Look at the one he sent this morning. He said, um, Michael cannot protect you when I come for you. You better come back to me now that you have the chance or die. It's a joke. Well, he's a Casanova, yes, but definitely not a, a lady beater. He's not. Beat. He said he will kill me. I can't believe this. Well, he'll need to kill me first before he can get to you. Okay? I'm just shocked that someone like Briggs will have to descend so low as to threaten a woman. He's not a gentleman at all. I was wondering why I didn't date you first. You, you're such a good guy. You're the exact opposite of Briggs. Well, maybe it's because I didn't rush like Briggs. <laughs> Very much like you. Always very shy. No, I'm not shy. Says who? Says Michael. So you're not shy, huh? No, definitely not shy. Hmm. Kiss me here then. What? Kiss my cheek. What? I love you. Honestly, Samantha, I... I do. I... I just never have told you that before. Now, now that I said it, it's like a burden has been lifted off my shoulders. Michael. soon for me. I just ended a relationship. I'm still hurting. I had a bad experience with Briggs. I know. I understand. Look, Look I didn't mean to hurt you, okay? Hurt? Not hurt. I, I perfectly understand. Go for a walk. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, go. Whoops. <laughs> to set you up. He lied to me that, that, that you were a bad guy and you weren't good enough for Samantha and that Samantha is like a sister to him so he didn't want her to get hurt. That was why I did what I did. He did this when he found that I was in love with him. So he took advantage of it. I'm really sorry. I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. I'll do anything in my power to make sure that you and Samantha get back together again. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Just hold it right there, okay? Tell me everything. It all started 
the day I went for a drink with Samantha at the kiosk near the office during lunch break. Samantha told me that, that my girl my girl was good enough, good enough for me. to me. I still thought you were my friend. Because I never knew you go this far. Olivia was in my house. And she told me everything. Deny it. Deny it. Leave my house. Samantha secretly from the first day I set my eyes on her. You speak of want. Hi. I speak of love. I speak of love. Which is better? Which is deeper? Which is permanent? I love her. Please. Please, right the wrong you did. Just, just tell her you're the one who set me up with Olivia. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Remember the phone call episode? Hmm? The one you were supposed to go meet her at the hotel? Well, yes. I was the one behind those phone calls. Samantha is almost as good as mine. Oh, yeah. Yes, I forget. Your phone is with me. <laughs> I trust me. I sent Samantha enough text messages that will make her hate you forever. My 
Michael. Are you a demon? No, no, no. No. I am just someone who is crazy about Samantha and will do anything to have her. Everything outside, God will judge you. God. So I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry about everything. When every evidence points to the fact that someone is guilty, it doesn't really mean that that person is guilty. So it's always good to listen to each other. For every two lovers, there's always a Mike who is not happy for them. We both made that mistake. And we've learned our lessons. Thank you. 